What's up everybody, Chris Mary here, back again with another video. This time we're talking about the Komodo 6K. Jared Land just dropped some new news. You can order it. We're gonna talk about it. Are you gonna get one? What's the cost? What are the specs? Let's go over it, it's been long enough. Let's go over it. What's up everybody, Chris Mary here, back again with another video. We are here at Universal City Overlook. We are allowed to go to parks, they're open, we must practice social distancing, and I have my little artifact face mask that's getting me through those close quarters. So today's video is about the Komodo 6K and Jared Land just dropped a post on Facebook saying that you can now pre-order this camera. He is taking custom specialized orders you can reach out to him via personal email if you so have it. He says for friends and anyone that's interested to get a little crazy and try something. So this is custom color orders. In two weeks, I'm gonna start selling some crazy colored Komodos to my friends and anyone else who wants to be a little different. Just a handful coming out in the next week or two. I believe that first batch is already filled up. I think he made a note of that in a comment kind of alluding to that. This is gonna do this until the Stormtrooper's released, almost suggesting that the Stormtrooper would be coming even before the standard Black Edition model. So this color variant Komodo model is gonna cost $7,000, while the black standard model, which has no release date, is going to cost $6,000. I'm not sure if Red's pushing this out to make up for costs during the pandemic. He did mention that pandemic costs have made things more difficult with the Komodo. I see this as maybe releasing this specialized camera for that extra thousand dollars is going to help them offset the budget, maybe fallout that they're going to have on the actual main six thousand dollar Komodo. But I can't see that bump being that crazy. Maybe it's just a way for him to give back during this time or rush some out because of the delays, but he can make a few, but not like as much as releasing it all together? I'm not sure. So let's go over the Komodo 6K specs and let's see exactly what this camera is all about. So this is Red's entryway camera. The first Red entryway camera was the Scarlet, but it was not that cheap when it first came out, but it was cheaper compared to the Red Epic. The next step in the entryway through Red was the Red Raven. Now since discontinued, I myself personally own a Red Raven. We at New Way Media, Brendan, also has the Scarlet W. So we have the Red Scarlet W and the Raven, both entry-level red cameras. The Komodo is here to replace the Scarlet and the Raven. So the Komodo is its new entryway camera, but it is not a DSMC2 camera. This is where it gets a little confusing because Red has so many cameras at this point. So now we have the Komodo 6K entryway red camera, which is not a DSMC2 cinema line camera. Then we have the Red Dragon 6K DSMC2 camera. Then we have the Red Gemini 5K DSMC2 camera, the Red Helium 8K DSMC2 camera, and finally, the Red Monstro 8K VistaVision full frame camera. So the 6K Komodo is not part of the DSMC2 line, which means it will not be accepting DSMC2 accessories. Now, I'm sure there's some handy third party companies that are gonna figure out a way to connect these two, I hope. Maybe we wouldn't camera, I'm looking at you. So this could be a good thing or a bad thing. If you own a bunch of DSMC2 accessories, this isn't gonna help you on the Red, at least not anytime soon. But if you don't have any red accessories, but you have your small HD or your Atomos, like you're already in the game right there. And it does have an on-screen monitor that you can see the menus and the image, but it's very tiny. So it's gonna be using CFast 2.0 cards as of now, that's what we have. So we have Canon BP batteries. They're lower cost than V-mounts, and I'm sure there'll be a way for you to D-tap in with a V-mount or some way that you could rig this up just like we did with Pocket 6Ks and Canon 5Ds. I'm sure you'll be able to get V-mounts in there. It's just not gonna be as one package. It'll be more like how an Alexa mini set up with rails and but that's going further down the line in all speculation. We have 12G SDI port output in 4K. That's good, so we're keeping SDI. We're not limiting ourselves to HDMI, which is... So touchscreen on top, talked about that. It's super 35 6K sensor, so it will not be a full frame sensor. It will be a swap between global and rolling shutter. I'm not sure too much about that. Like I said, the specs are pretty limited and I find it extremely interesting that Red is asking you to go ahead and make a $7,000 purchase without any footage or specs being official. You know, this is all just 
what we were told from many, many months ago, but no confirmation if this is like set in stone, no official announcement of release for the Komodo. This is all just hearsay. The best part of being right here on Mulholland Drive is all these rag cars that keep driving by. It will be using a fixed Canon RF mount, so there is no PL mount for this. It's an RF mount. What is an RF mount? Not an EF mount. The RF mount is for Canon's new EOS R series mirrorless cameras. So it's a fixed RF mount, but it has a short flange. So there is an RF to EF adapter with a variable ND internal in that that Canon provides. So therefore, if you buy this RF to EF ND adapter through Canon, which is only a couple hundred bucks, you're gonna have internal ND on your red, kind of. But that's a huge plus moving forward and puts it more in line with operating like an Alexa Mini. So the two big RF Canon lenses out right now is a 24-70 2.8 IS and a 28-70 f2. Both of these lenses are pretty pricey, to be honest. You're looking at two, three thousand dollars. Now these RF lenses are not cheap entryway lenses. They are way more expensive than just getting your standard EF 24-105. This is better glass. It is newer glass, but you're looking at two to three thousand dollars to get one of these lenses. So it's good to have the RF to EF adapter option but you're starting to build this thing out more and more and it's gonna look like a big lens on this little camera. It should be interesting. I'm sure there's gonna be cages to build this thing out so it's not too tiny, but when you need it to be tiny, we're on that DSLR size, which is very nice for this camera, this little tiny box. For what it can do, it's amazing. I say it's amazing. We still don't have any footage, do we? I don't know, I haven't seen any. Maybe I need to relook. So they talked about an internal autofocus, kind of like dual pixel autofocus, but they haven't really said too much on it. It just, I just know that there is face tracking, just like we have here with Canon, which is pretty damn good. And we don't really know too much with RED, I just know that there will be face tracking and it's supposed to be comparable to Canon's. So it will be 16-bit R3D recording, 6K at, I've seen 50 frames a second, but I've recently seen 40 frames a second at 6K. That's not what I wanted to see. I was hoping to at least see 120, um, but I understand the Scarlet W also does not do 120 at 5K. So it is what it is, but it's just in this weird range where other cameras are already outperforming that. Maybe not at 6K. I'm worried that going to 4K is gonna crop in on the sensor. It's at Super 35 at 6K. Are we gonna deal with how RED always does it? Or I go to 4K to get my 120 frames a second. Am I gonna crop in my sensor, therefore degrading my image? And I already don't know how good the sensor are, is to begin with. So it will do R3D RED code RAW, so thank God, because I can't operate a camera without RAW. I mean, I am right now. This is a Canon 6D Mark II but anything I'm shooting like for a commercial or something like that, like I need raw, I just need it. I'm addicted now. The original price point of this thing was supposed to be around five to 7,000. We have confirmation that $7,000 is for this custom model with $6,000 being for the standard black edition model. You'd be surprised how many people have just like come and sit down and look around awkwardly and wonder why I'm talking to a camera. beginning to question everything. All right, so that's what we know. If you have Jared Land's personal email, you can get the Komodo. Reach out for a custom $7,000 colored Komodo. Guess they can make any color but white because the Stormtrooper is coming later. I don't know. It's kind of exclusive and inclusive. That's all I know. If you know more, let me know so I can be filled in. Reach out to Jared Land if you have his email. Order this custom colored Komodo. They can do any color but white apparently since they said that these custom different models will come before the Stormtrooper which will come before the black. That's red for you. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned. Another video will be coming and the next time you watch another video it'll come. All right. What's up everybody, Chris Mary here back again with another video. This time we're talking about RED again, finally. It's been how long? Komodo news? Yes, you can order it. And what more? I don't know. Why am I talking like a news reporter? I'm trying to sell you. <laughs> I didn't realize it'd be this busy. And there's a lot of traffic and in and out. So bear with me.